Good morning. I'm Staff Sergeant Robert Rutledge of the Organized Crime Response Unit. I spell my last name R-U-T-L-E-D-G-E. -E. I'm just going to read a short prepared statement and then I'll be able to answer any questions you may have. The Calgary Police Service Vice Unit has laid charges following an 11-month investigation into fictitious calls made to police claiming that women were being held against their will at either gunpoint or knife point. The investigation has determined that these false calls were as a result of two individuals attempting to reveal and disrupt women from working in the escort aid industry. Facing two counts of extortion and four counts of public mischief are Wen Zan Lai, male, 29 years of age, currently residing in the Ontario region, and Rong Zhang, female, 37 years of age. Lai is currently in police custody and uh, will be in Calgary courtroom this morning, while Zhang is wanted on Canada-wide warrants. That's it for my prepared statement. I'm available to answer any questions. Any idea where the uh, outstanding uh, suspect is? We have uh, some investigative leads where we believe uh, Ms. Zhang is residing, and we're working with other law enforcement agencies to affect an arrest. How many calls, how many of these calls were made? Over 11 months? Over 11 months, uh, we believe there's been 51 calls made by these two individuals. What was the police response each time that, uh, was this calling out a tag team and treating it like the Code 300? The police response has been varied uh, over the course of these calls. Um, certainly there's been numerous calls when the TAC team, canine, many street personnel called. Other times, because there's been so many calls, the experienced call takers, command staff, and their real-time operations center has determined that these calls are made by the same individuals. And by asking the same or the right questions, these calls have been eliminated. Uh, at their origin, so police have not responded. Where is police being called to? Sorry? Where are police being called to? Police are being called to either hotels or uh, residences in the city of Calgary. Whereabouts in the city? Uh, all over. Does this appear to be a, uh, a competitive battle between particular escort agencies or what, what was it, were the targeting uh, uh, widespread? No, no particular escort agencies. Uh, the accused are attempting to control the, the market in, in Calgary and across Canada because there's been other calls across Canada, we believe, by the same individuals. So they're attempting to eliminate uh, their competition. What's, I guess maybe walk us through a typical phone call through the eyes of, of one of the accused. Like it, to me, what's what would be the point of calling police? What's what's the their their goal at the end of it? Well, their goal is, uh, in some cases, uh, and I can't go into too many investigative details, but they're approaching these women, trying to get them to work for them in the escort agency. And in many cases, these women are saying no. And after that is when we're seeing these fictitious calls made to communication center. So the goal is to uh, cause trouble for these individuals that are the recipient of a massive police response or put a pressure on them to come and work for them in the escort industry. So how many, um, how many of these escorts in Calgary were targeted by these people? Uh, I can't give you a specific number, but I can, can tell you that uh, some individuals have been uh, recipient of up to seven uh, police calls. The public mischief, mischief charges are obvious. Uh, can you expand or explain on where the extortion comes in? Well, the extortion relates to um, the, the threats and the coercion that these two accused are, are attempting to get the, uh, these uh, escort, uh, escorts to work for them. So they're extorting them by, by putting pressure on them, by forcing them to come work for me or I'll cause, cause a problem by getting the police involved. How do you feel about you know, having police use it? Probably, I'm assuming this is a pretty unusual tactic to use to actually use police as a means, as a tool, as a weapon for their own ends. Well, that's ex exactly the uh, the concern we have is that they're they're using the police to uh, further their gains, their financial gains, 
And while doing so, uh, it's creating um, huge resource issues for the Calgary Police Service. You know, when we're, when we're sending tactical teams, canine officers, if a gun has been mentioned, uh, we usually have EMS on standby. And, uh, you know, during these times, there's, all, there's always legitimate victims out there waiting for Calgary Police Service to be responding to their calls. It's the first time I've kind of heard of something like this. Is this something that you guys come across on a very regular basis, not just with these and these particular individuals, but just as, as the escort service as a whole, do you guys get these kinds of calls fairly regularly? No, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that. Uh, we're starting starting to see uh, copycat calls from from other areas, not related to prostitution disruption, which is a which is a great concern of us of ours. No prostitution charges, per se, or, or perhaps forthcoming? Uh, additional charges may be laid uh, down the road once uh, we get Zhang in custody and uh, further the investigation, but none at this point. Have you guys looked at uh, any human trafficking charges or anything for that to say? We've, we've looked at the human trafficking component of this, and um, unfortunately, with the numerous women that we've been dealing with, uh, they don't see themselves as victims. They don't have a fear of what they're doing. Uh, so we, we cannot lay human trafficking charges at this point. So they are not Canadian citizens? No, most of them are visitors to Canada from, from Asian, Asian countries. Do you believe the outstanding suspect is outside of the province? I will say that I don't believe she's in the Calgary region. When was the last time? Were they working together, by the way? They were married uh, until the last few months. They've, they've had a, a separation of some sort. And when was the last time they were working or, or operating in Calgary? The last time that they were in Calgary, we could say definitively, is a year and a half ago. But with, with technology, uh, you know, you can, make a, you can make a call to an emergency uh, center anywhere, anywhere in the world. So are you saying, are you suggesting that they may have been making these, or you have evidence they've been making these calls long distance? Yeah, they're, they're not making the calls from, from Calgary. As a matter of fact, uh, we've had lie in, in police custody since October 14th and we've, we've received three more phone calls from Zhang. So yes, exactly. The calls aren't being made from the Calgary region. Okay, any other questions? Thank you.